Uh, hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start working with MyDustGene software. So MyDustGene software is one of the leading software for structural engineering design. And recently, Alonso published this mid, and I like to introduce you this software using a series of tutorial. So this is the first time uh, you will face, and uh, if you don't have this software, you can uh, request a uh, demo or in a third party you can get a crack file. Uh, so here is uh, the interface. We have menu and also we have uh, a toolbar and other some shortcuts. Uh, uh, when you start this not uh, exist and you will see this one for start page. We go to start a project by new file and in the new file uh, you will be in the uh, here is GY global coordinate system and you will model here uh, you also can create a user and then uh, turn it to the global uh, so that doesn't matter and you can start uh, in the global coordinate also in the uh, user uh, coordinate uh, <clears throat> in case if you want to do uh, 2d you can go to structure type and here is the structure type you can consider so what I want, I want to consider the x, z plane. This is x and this is z plane. So this is a gravity load, uh, gravity acceleration is already giving. So okay. So I create it in a 2D form. Now, uh, now uh, the next is uh, creating some uh, properties. So here is come to the uh, material properties and you can select the first material. So I used uh, steel material and steel uh, using ASTM unit. Uh, so here is the list of the material. So I used A36 and uh, so they're all the parameters giving and so okay. Because we just uh, used a uh, linear, we didn't add any plasticity behavior. Now, in the next is section, we want to define a section. So we use the uh, uh, IP section, which is uh, uh, European uh, code standard. Uh, here is the giving I section. We're using IP 300 for the column and uh, 350 for the uh, 3 cert cert for the B. Uh, now here in section M you can go to down and here is the IP section. So the first is 3, we're gonna call it apply and then is uh, 330. 330. So what just we have? Two section. Now we don't have any <coughs> shear wall or uh, slab so we don't need the thickness close and now we want to create a grid line in the structure we can go to grid line here is two kind of grid line you can introduce one is using a point which is distributed point across this area or another is just the line in the line you can go to add and give a name at least grid line you want and in the x i want to add how many? Two. Two. Uh, so uh, that uh, two uh, is uh, two number at five meter. Now here is, and I want in the Y, because we don't want to model in the Y, so we want to add. <coughs> Uh, now I can go to add and the same or just two at five in the Y. Now okay, and this is the grid line which we created. Uh, next, we want to create <coughs> the node element. So I can go to create element or you also can define node. Uh, now using IP uh, uh, 
330 for the column and 3 for the pin. Uh, here is the uh, you can select uh, I select this point to this point and this point to this point. Uh, now uh, I can close it. I can go to select this uh, three point. Uh, here is uh, uh, some uh, toolbar, then you can use it for different for the selection and selection. Now I select this three point. I want to go to the uh, uh, extrude. So I want to extrude this three point to the new to the element. So it is safe. First tutorial. Uh, using the first words for the uh, beam. Now I'm going to using this one for the color. Uh, here is the extrusion. We are going to extrude it to minus 3.4 meter. Fly and you can see here it is. I can go to here and see this is uh, two section. Uh, now we also can here check display the node uh, elements and also node. This is element one, element two, element three, four, five. And here is the uh, uh, perspective. You can see how it is uh, perspective view, and also you can turn off. And also here is the extrusion and Okay, now we want to off this one and go to back uh, here. Uh, it's called the select all. I'm going to select all this one. I'm going to here, or you can use this translate. Here is also translate. So what I want, I want to translate all these uh, beam columns uh, using to Z 3.4 up. Fly and here is. Now next is we want to define. Uh, we want to define uh, the boundary condition. Here is in a boundary condition. You can select by using uh, single nodes or using a uh, uh, window to select the node. Or also you can use plan. In define support, I'm going to uh, restrain all the uh, rotation and deformation. Now you can see here is the mission. The next is we're going to apply some load. So first we want to have the self load and a life load and also a lateral load. Uh, in the load static load case, we want to define first dead load. From dead load, you can give it dead load. And again, we're going to go to life load. And the last one is called uh, lateral, lateral load. Here you can uh, select uh, user <coughs> uh, user interface. Uh, sorry, user uh, this is user defined. Now it's okay. Now what we want to do is we want to define the first self width. Self width is a dead load in a negative minus one z direction. So the second one is element load, which is the live load. We select uh, these three <coughs> uh, beams, uh, three beams, and I can apply a uh, minus 10 kilonewton uh, per meter. Uh, sorry, it's dead load. And I'm going to select this one, and here is one. Uh, I can uh, undo control C and I can go to live load and selecting again uh, these two elements and applying a live load. So the last one is here is called noodle load. In the noodle load, I can go to the lateral load and applying 100 uh, kilonewton to each this two node 
now you can see all the load is applied so uh, everything is finished there is no need combination combination in the mitos gene will happen after the analysis you know perform analysis and here is the result it's called solution terminated your job is successfully completed so this is it okay without any uh, error now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to again uh, I and the line and with the result and we want to in case if you want to create a combination you can combine combine after the analysis but will not do this just we want to see the response of this one. first is going to moment reaction force <clears throat> reaction force and using uh, dead loot and uh, you can select any of these let's see the dead loot the live loot in a total of f x y z you can shoot the value and also considering the legend in a bar, in a right side and here is the data giving next we want to go to the force and here is beam diagram now we want to get the moment from <coughs> live load and it can be uh, contour and also value and also legend now apply and you can see here is the and obviously you can uh, manually calculate and the result is 95% correct same with manually calculated <clears throat> uh, also we can uh, see uh, some stresses as well <clears throat> beam stresses and from live load uh, this time I want to consider the lateral load so let's see <clears throat> apply uh, we can uh, show and now you can see the stress this area is in the middle, which is a loss of uh, uh, stress in this area considering. <clears throat> when you're pushing, this area is going to tension and these two columns are going to end up <clears throat> uh, compressing. So in tension and compressing. And in case if you go to deformation from the lateral loot, <clears throat> go to uh, volume, legend, apply, and you can see when you're pushing, uh, this area is going to be stretch and this area will be, be compressed so you can see uh, in case if you want to find a specific node a specific node and you can go to search displacement and here is giving now you can see the x dy I want to use <coughs> now millimeter to see properly the formation again apply apply and you can see it's about <coughs> 33 millimeter or 30 ah, 33 millimeter uh, deformation uh, and also we can see the strain applying a strain This is the strain and we can go to the height so the strain is because it's an elastic so we don't have too much strain so uh, now we go back again to the uh, 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 beam column moments and we can uh, see again uh, we can uh, uh, from bending diagram and we want to see the lateral root uh, moments and here is you can consider a solid element and you can see uh, so uh, after it is finished you can go to the design and go to the design and here is a different element design option we want to consider the design and you can say design could which could you want in case you want euro good you can say euro good and some other parameters but uh, mainly uh, uh, we're not going to design this so the design is can be for the next time 
because in the next time we want to uh, create a very uh, large structure and applying different combination and then we will conduct the design in case if you want so then just go to uh, here still design uh, or here reform batch design you can conduct it so this is the end of tutorial see you next time